Hello anyone and everyone who out, out there who might be watching this on YouTube. As you can see we are back with RimWorld. This time with Alpha 16. It has been a long time since I have posted any videos. Mix of technical issues, schooling, all sorts of stuff like that. But I figured it was time to get back into this again. RimWorld has come a long way since we were last doing videos and Alpha 12 I believe. This time I have put together a poll or a list of questions to, form, to come up with seven colonists which we're going to go over now. Probably not going to get much done in this episode other than the colonists, starting location, initial setup. But here we go. First up we have Feral. Wolfpack member is a child, an adulthood is a hunter. Traits, Bloodlust, Brawler, Iron Willed. As you can see from their stats, ridiculously powerful melee fighter, not too good at anything else. Next up is Vex been a colony person their entire life, kid turned settler, they're beautiful, they might be starting some fires and they're usually always happy. Average stats, nothing really amazing to jump out. Third is Emma, an abandoned child turned blacksmith, brawler, gay, night owl. Amazing melee, amazing crafting, everything else kind of average, not too great. We have Oxen, a mute chemist, gay, night owl, steadfast, amazing animal, Amazing research, everything else kind of poor to middle. Visla, if you can see from the appearance, kind of just outlandish to begin with. An aspiring engineer turned space technician, creepy breathing, hard worker and iron willed, good construction, some good mining, crafting, and research, everything else pretty poor. We got Starlight, an alchemist turned pirate, who's actually a cannibal, kind cannibal, who doesn't like to be up during the day. A decent array of stats, good cooking, good melee. We have a lot of melee people this time, that could be kind of difficult. And then finally Godfrey, wild child turned Mufalo Shaman. A gay Mascus Night Owl. We've got an interesting combination of people. Another really good melee person, a lot of really high quality, or they have a high passion for learning on some of these stats, but they themselves are kind of low. We've got our starting supplies here. It's a lot more than usual. Again, this was kind of... I'm actually going to take some of these out, because some of this was pulled upon, but I think it's a little overpowered. So we've got a lot of food, wood, steel, silver, components, a mix of weapons, range, and melee for our people, and a lot of medicine, because we are starting with seven people. As for a starting location, I've already generated the world and things like that. The voting led to a rather temperate, mountainous climate, and I have go gone ahead and landed us near several friendly and enemy villages, and I will show that once we get into the world, so let's go ahead and get started. Should just take a minute to load, sometimes world generation can take a little while, because recently in Alpha 16, as I will show you in a minute, Tynan has gone a long The three of you awaken in your crypt, well, the seven of us, awaken in your crypt sleep sarcophagi to the sounds and sirens of ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Everyone's gonna go ahead and come on down and land. We'll go ahead and pause it so I can show you the world. This might take a moment to open. As you can see, that we have actual worlds now. I could only generate 30%, my computer is not the most powerful. It is possible to generate an entire planet. Every little symbol you see on here is a different base of a different faction. The skull and crossbones are obviously, they're not necessarily pirates, but they are always hostile. While everything else is some sort of friendly village. This little blue one, however, is us. We can send out caravans to actually travel and visit these other towns, either to attack them or to trade with them, depending on if they're friendly or not. But that's a little bit of a ways away. You really need animals to be able to haul stuff, and it can be take a little while on foot. We really don't have the supplies for that. So for right now, we're just going to have to get everybody started going. First things first, we need to allow access to everything we landed with, basically. They need to be able to use it and things like that. Silver, all our meals, 250, not the people, medicine, sorry about that, I had to cough. Now we have four rifles, 
we need to find our shooting people who aren't brawlers. We actually don't really have any good shooting people. That is going to make this a little difficult. We got a lot of good melee people, but there's the other spear. There's one more spear under Godfrey. I think he's the other melee person. Everyone else, despite having poor shooting, is going to get a gun. Which can only end so well. Give them all a moment to run and equip those. Alrighty. Now, looking at our starting location, we actually got a very good starting location. It's mountainous, a lot of mountains everywhere, a lot of trees, a lot of wealth. We have this little alcove right here where we can go dig back in the mountains. We can defend it pretty easily, and then it's already got a geothermal plant for the long term. Another thing that was changed in Alpha 16 is, well, mine's a little different because of all the mods, is you have an entire research tech tree now. You have to progress through it to be able to unlock things. Like, for example, we can get anything that's just darker gray right now, but we can't get you geo geothermal until we get mic microelectronic basics, build an advanced research bench, and then work towards that. So that's a little bit of a ways away. For now, though, we need to start getting some of our stuff stored inside. So I'm just going to build right across this little opening just something basic. And my OCD is going to say, let's make this room square. As for work, right now, no one can afford to not do anything. So, this isn't probably what I should be doing, but I'm going to have everyone set to do most everything. We have no real good doctors, one good chef. It'll be interesting, because we really have no giant standouts in a lot of ways. Not good crafters and researchers. And then I want to put a storage stockpile inside of here. And just let them have at it. See, so we need beds. Right now, though, they're just going to work on hauling all this down, building the walls with the resources we have. They'll get it all done pretty quick. We have seven people. Building the roofs. Let's just expand the stockpile as they go. What I will actually do is I'll take construction back off everybody, except say three people, because I want them to make some beds, and I don't want to be spending a ton of resources on making beds. So I'm going to build them outside where we actually have light, and then I can move them inside. That one was a mistake. And they'll get to that in a minute. See, there they go. So we got a good bed. I'll reinstall that one indoors. Awful will deconstruct, poor will deconstruct, poor will deconstruct. I'm going to take those two off construction. The superior bed, someone's getting a really nice bed. A normal bed, that'll do. That's one at least normal or better. Another normal, that gives us four. Good one gives us five. Another good one gives us six. We just need one more bed. Nope, they finished up mining this out, so we'll just go ahead and expand the stockpile and put a dumping stockpile outside. And again, my OCD will say mine these rocks out. Well, yeah. They're all eating some of their food inside. There's our seventh bed. So we should put that there, and we can cancel construction of these other two. She'll start moving all those beds and doors. Eventually we'll have everybody get their own room, stuff like that. But for now, they're going to have to make do with what we have. Uh, let's see, that's all... Or they're going to start moving all the supplies and doors. We want to get that done fast, that way it's not rotting outside, it's not deteriorating. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and get a growing zone set up, however. Two little 7x7s. Seven One will be growing rice, we'll have another on corn, and we'll get actual growing going up soon enough. For power, we have a lot of trees. Uh, I probably should let them do the, finish the hauling first before we started on that. 
They'll make short work of it. With seven people planting, two little seven by seven fields is nothing. I'm gonna go pass out for the night. Whew. I'm a little tired of myself. It's pretty early in the morning. Now for hunters, we have something to look at. We have a, since we have a lot of people. Well, first off, hunting it is calculated between their shooting and their melee. So we want to be careful, really, not to send any of our melee people out to hunt because they could very well die hunting some things. I'm, I'm actually, even though I just said that, I'm gonna make an exception. Anyone who has the brawler trait, I will allow to hunt using melee against small creatures. Because they get a ridiculous bonus to hit, they're using spears to begin with. So that would be Emma and Feral. So, Feral, see and it says they're really bad at hunting? Oh. They must have changed hunting recently, now it actually is just based on ranged weapons. It used to be ranged and melee. That is a change I missed. So we need our best shooting person. Oxen's at three. Starlight's at six. So Starlight will be our hunter. And it's already defaulted to that. Okay. I mean, we're a little bit of a ways away from needing to hunt. We have a lot of survival meals still. 200, well, 216. Okay, some haven't been hauled in yet. Yep. Yeah. Okay, gotta watch out for this war here. Well, there's a lot of animals for to hunt. Maybe not too much. They're all waking up, heading out to go bring stuff in. That reminds me, because we are new, we should probably build a horseshoe pen. It's just a really easy light source of joy that people will use all the time. Expand the dumping stockpile, take up that extra space. Then I'm actually going to cut these trees back with just a uh, cut plant order. Just get them out of the way so they don't block a door. I'm also going to go ahead and just build some small tables. Build an actual table. And just a little bench on each side. Like I said, we'll eventually flesh all this out, actual rooms, things like that. Once we start getting people idle, we can start working on everything. Shouldn't be having any mo any moment really. Yeah, they're doing all their yeah. Yep, there they are, idle. So for rooms, some people say you gotta make giant rooms. I've never been a fan of giant rooms. I'm literally just gonna make a little three by three room for everybody. Seven, so that's four, five, six, and then seven. And then I'll go start mining all those out and get them cleared out. Get the beds put down in there, things like that. Uh, Feral and Visla are idle. Feral can't mine. Visla, I don't know why Visla isn't mining. Visla should be mining. Oh, working on building a roof, that works. So for Feral, what can Feral do? Not much. And that's gonna be a problem. I'm, I'm gonna allow Feral to hunt. Oh. They can't even do it without a ranged weapon. Okay, never mind. So, Feral... Go ahead and start hauling all these rock chunks in. <laughs> and the ones inside the base. I said, we'll get all these cleared out. We'll smooth the floors down in them. Oh. Looks like all of this might not be mountains after all. Because you see... If you look right here, there's a small opening. So there could be a chamber back behind here. Let's find out. A little one tile chamber. That's nothing. So I'm actually just going to build a little wall in there just to fill that in. Sometimes you could pop that open and this entire mountainside could actually be a hidden uh, chamber. Doesn't happen too often, but it happens. have them clear all the rubble out as they mine, and I'll work on the last chamber. Yeah, they're starting to clean up now. So we're going to go floors, smooth floors, get all this smoothed out. It's the 
cheapest, easiest solution. Oh, well, that's just the wood we struck. I thought that was machinery for a moment. No, I'll start working on that. I actually should go ahead and... Let's see, where is it? Orders, not that. Mine? I want to put a vent system going between all the rooms. And then in each of the rooms facing outside, I want to put another vent as well. So we'll mine all that out. Oh, that's right, we have a, uh, a camping mod set up, which adds portable stoves, which we just got a texture change. You can produce tents and other things like that to allow people to actually set up camps. But for now, just simple vents, which will do nicely. We're going to have a lot of these because they'll be connected through the rooms as well. And they're all sleeping once again. We probably should get power going up and soon. We'll build a little refrigerator over here. Yeah. Double wallet. And then a little airlock. Won't be the biggest bridge, but it'll do. See, we need, need defenses, need meal source. For defenses... See, I want to get this walled off. I'm just going to do a cheap wooden wall for right now. It really won't hold anything out, but it'll slow people down. They have to come through this way. And they'll go get to work on that once they're done working on all this. And they got their, uh, they got the vents all hooked up. So we want doors. Because we're not going for quality here, I'm going to go ahead and put everyone back on construction, or almost everyone. That way we can get all the walls done fast. And we're going to double wall that as well. Because this is going to be our fridge. So I want to delete this zone. Make it a new stockpile just for food. Food and meals. Uh, raw food and meals, but not packaged meals. Oh. I will need to put probably two freezers in here. So I need to make room for food. There and there. Power wise, I'll stick a battery in here. I'll stick two batteries in here. Little power line, power line. As for power, we can do solar. That should be pretty good. We have a nice little location for it. Then, yeah, they built the walls up here. Then for security right now, we really don't have anything other than sandbags. So that'll have to do. So let's put a little sandbag right here. And that should keep us solid for now. And they're hauling out all the stuff that won't fit in here. Also going to go and smooth all the floors inside of here, just to get that taken care of. Yep, they're building. We still need a meal source, so I'm actually going to probably build a kitchen up next. Same thing with the floors. Oh, there's a power disconnect somewhere. Oh, right, none of these are actually connected together. I forgot the uh, vents don't have a uh, power hookup. So we're charging up the vents. Go ahead and drop these temperatures down pretty low. They'll start to get a little cold, but it'll be alright. Got a rock chunk. And I forgot the door in this section. And then we can go ahead and start just putting in the beds. Because we're not actually building the beds, we can actually just reinstall them. And the first person with an open construction job will just move them in. We'll just stick them all kind of up in the corners. This one I'll place here just because the room's a little different. Yep. I forget what alpha added the feature to reinstall certain pieces of furniture, but it is incredibly nice not having to rebuild everything. Get all our beds moved. I'm actually going to go ahead and put flooring down in this entire section. Yeah, we don't have enough wood for it. So we'll put chop wood orders out everywhere. Get all this kind of just cleared out. 
Well, I'll start working on that. So we're running out of yeah, we'll, we ran out of wood before it was done. But don't worry, they'll they'll go to start chopping trees, and the ones that can't chop trees will start working on it. And just like that, wooden floors. Oh, and they're finishing up smoothing. We have a visitor. This is a new event. Well, not new, but it's pretty recent. He is from a friendly tribe, which we actually do need to look at what factions are friendly and what ones are not. But what happens is he arrived, so he's from a friendly village, and he actually has stuff to trade. If we look in his gear, we can see he's carrying a lot of stuff. Most of this is going to be for trade. We'll let him get a little closer before we send someone out to go talk to him, though. Speaking of factions, we have five on this five on this planet. Looks like one Outlander Union, two tribes, two pirates. Unfortunately, it looks like we actually have three hostile factions. One tribe and two pirates. And that one of the tribes is not hostile to the other two friendly factions. So, for instance, if we are attacked by the Purple Hill League, both Tibium or Pact of Tucha, I think, won't help us because they're not hostile to them. Everyone's out there chopping trees, finishing up the floors. Because we actually have power, I'm going to go ahead and install lights. One, two, three, four ought to be good. And I can run some power around to try and reach this one. We might be able to reach it. Probably not. So we'll just run it like that. There we go. So we have all lit. And because they wanted a meal source, I could build a fueled stove. I'm going to build just a plain electric stove, or I will. Are we out of steel already? Wow, we went through that steel. Yeah, we're down to four steel, so we need to find some. Aha, there we go. So we'll just tell them to work on mining this back some. There's also some machinery here we can tell them to work on. And they'll work on that once they're done with everything else. Some more machinery right here. We're not desperate for machinery, but it wouldn't hurt to have it. Oh. Yeah, we've struck compacted machinery. And we have the trader. Our best social person is Godfrey. The better social, better prices we get, things like that. So he's gonna go run up there and talk to him. He's got some pemmican, some component. No, he wants our components. Some herbal meds and a poor wooden spear. I don't think we want anything from him, so we're not gonna buy or sell anything. He'll wander around for a few days, eventually end up leaving. Nothing to worry about. But I think we're off to a good start. We've got our little base set up. Power's running, farming going, our little mediocre security. Everyone's got a small little room. In the next episode, more farms, work on a resource situation, get some actual production going, shore up our defenses, try and get stone cutting and research going. But for now, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks again for joining me, and hopefully this season will last a pretty good while. Take care.